Olá pessoal, today we're going to talk about crase. First of all, what is crase? Crase is often confused with acento grave, which is the diacritic that we use above the letter A. And the letter A is actually the subject of our study today because crase is the fusion of the letter A when it means the definite article the in the feminine form and also on the other side you have the preposition a that means usually two or four so there you have it crase is a fusion of two particles and in the end you get this a with acentografia or simply a the sound doesn't change and that's exactly why we need it a symbol to represent that that letter A represents both an article and a preposition. There are several rules and exceptions to the use of crase, but I will focus on the most important one, I would say that way. And they come from the definition of crase. And rule number one is you only use crase before feminine noun. You don't want to use it before a masculine word because it is the definite article A, which is feminine, that you would use in. You don't want to say A, homem, for example. And the second one, which is a little bit more difficult to tell, is that if the preposition is mandatory in that place. So, since we have a feminine article and a preposition, you want to make sure that you have these two conditions before you put the acento grave above your letter A. Now, I believe that is the most important part of the video because I'm going to give you some tips of when to use it and some examples. So the first tip is, when you are not sure if the preposition is mandatory, you can switch the feminine noun for masculine one. So you see if the verb asks for a preposition or not. For example, when you say, fui a farmacia, you are not sure if you use crase or not in this situation. So this is what you can do. Instead of using the word farmacia, you can use the word mercado. Then you can put it in the sentence and see if it needs a preposition or not. And it will become fui ao mercado. You can see that there is ao in this case, a plus o. So we have the definite article o and the preposition a forming ao. And in this case, you need acento grave. So, fui a farmacia needs crase. We have a similar example when you say vou a Brasília. It is not easy to tell if it's with or without crase. So, you can ask yourself, do you say Eu sou de Brasília or Eu sou da Brasília. And you see, if you have some knowledge, some previous knowledge, that we don't say da Brasília, we say de Brasília. So in this case, fui a Brasília has no accent, there, has no, there is no cas in this, in this sentence. But if instead of this you were saying fui a Itália, in this case you would need a crase because you say sou da Itália, not sou de Itália, sou da Itália. When using some expressions of time, like at night or at 2 p.m., you have to use crase. Some examples are Eu fui ao bar à noite. Ele tem uma reunião às duas horas. 
Ela estuda à tarde. There are some other expressions where the use of quase is also mandatory. For example, à medida que, às vezes, à direita, à esquerda. So, let me give you some examples to make this clear. Suas necessidades mudam à medida que o seu negócio muda. So, à medida que receives case. Às vezes eu gosto de cantar. Sometimes I like to sing. And like we saw in, in the video asking for directions in Portuguese, I could say vire à direita, turn right. And we will have crase in this case as well. And last but not least, I've been giving you only examples with a or as, but you also find crase when you see the preposition a along with the demonstrative pronoun aquele or aquela, aquilo, which means that in English. So, one example is eu quero agradecer aqueles que me ajudaram. This subject is confusing even for many native speakers, so don't worry if you don't get everything in the first time you see this video. That's alright. All the rules are in here, all the examples are in here as well, but I really hope I made it a little bit easier to understand. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao!